My name is David Kirkpatrick, and I'm here to talk about the mobile economy, its ramifications, and its future. The reality is that so many elements in the mobile economy are shifting at the same time that it's a very, very uh, complicated thing to get a real grip on, and it's extremely exciting because it's hard to name a part of modern life that isn't being transformed by mobile. The biggest single impact of mobile at a global scale is the inclusion of literally billions of people who have historically been excluded from the global economy into the global economy. The ways that mobile is changing things can hardly be enumerated they're so long, but you know, I think mobile banking is a key one where a lot of people think that you know, the security that comes with mobile banking and not having to carry around cash, if they have their money in a, an account that's accessed through their smartphone, they have an entirely new set of opportunities. You know, meanwhile, there's a lot of interest in a mobile diagnosis of medical uh, problems. I think we're going to see uh, technology that are add-on technologies to mobile phones that will allow for even chemical diagnosis of skin chemistry and breath analysis and you know saliva analysis, blood analysis, so that it all be remote. I think we're going to find healthcare expanding globally at an astonishing pace. Now the medical infrastructure has to learn to accommodate that, but it's a very big opportunity. And of course, education, uh, we have huge numbers of people in the world who have access to literally no education. So whether or not they're going to get something equivalent to an Ivy League school is, an, is really irrelevant because a lot of people are going to have some education now who historically would have had none. And people want to have access to information. And the mobile phone and the mobile in ecosystem will allow them to get that. Everyone pretty much assumes that we'll have uh, smartphones comparable to an iPhone that are $25 within you know, a very short number of years. There's enormous innovation, especially in China, to bring down the pricing for smartphones. However, the problem is that you know, the infrastructure for uh, the uh, cell service is not nearly up to the, the quality and extent that it needs to be for uh, really taking advantage of the smartphone revolution and this deployment that's happening globally.